Okay, it's starting to rain out here, so I'm trying not to expose myself too much outside. But isn't this a beauty? I don't know whether to call this beautiful or scary. I guess it's got a little bit of both. I love the arches. It almost has that Spanish look. You don't see that too often in Ontario, Canada. Here's the yard that they had. Very peaceful, private, and vandalized, as you can see. I'm just going to head up the side here. Give you a view of the side of it. Wow, this thing is huge. Okay, let's uh, look around and see if we can find our way in. Okay, there's an open door back here. Let's see what we have. Okay, it goes up there. Oh my god, look at all the papers all over the floor. Wow. It'd take forever to go through all this stuff. The phone book has 2008, 2009 on it. That window there is open, smashed in. There's a ladder going down to that level. Looks like somebody just threw office equipment or furniture down there. Picture of a dog. Elder abuse manual. Hmm. Wow, this place has been truly vandalized. Okay, it's in here. Just a small room with a lot of junk. And a closet. Okay, let's go up now. Creaky floors. This bedroom almost has an office look to it. There's a chalkboard here. Oh, just a lot of magazines. It's looking out to the barn. I have to wonder if they even had small horses here. Almost looks like a little horse stable there and with all the hay. Hear the creaking. Oh, a pair of women's shoes. Men's underwear. <laughs> Another big room. Not much in here, but it sure is big. Those look fairly new. Vandals. There's the banisters missing, missing there. Oh, here's a newspaper. So we can find the date. November 2009. 
Oh, here's a bathroom. Oh, oh, it's pretty wicked. Wicked looking toilet. Actually, the tub surround's not in bad shape at all, considering the vandalism. Sink, not so good. Just a bookshelf. Wow, this place just goes on forever. I mean, rooms upon rooms. More office stuff. It's almost like they ran a business out of here as well. Lots of books. It's a horse book there. Wow, what a mess. Why did vandals have to destroy things when they see something nice? I just don't understand. Must have been a kid's room. Little cassette player. I have a spider web in my eye right now. <laughs> okay, we have a little mini door here. The floor kind of goes down a bit. And a little mini closet. To a little attic area there. Look how high up we are here. We had to come up the stairs to go in that door, but didn't realize it was that high. Well, the house is built on a hill, so that makes sense. And if you look outside there, you can see you're pretty much at ground level, but not looking out the front. Okay, let's go down the stairs. Okay, I just came down those stairs there. I had to turn the camera off because there's a lot of mirror and glass smashed all over there, so I had to watch my step. And I don't know what all that orange stuff is. It's uh, oily all over the uh, handrail there. And there's uh, one room here. And then it brings you into this room, which is actually quite nice. And look at that fireplace. Again, I mean, everything is just smashed all over the floor. The glass is all broke out here. This would be the porch. The upstairs where the arches are upstairs. What a nice view. But look at the garbage. Uh, there's obviously no walking out there. Some sort of pottery smashed here. I mean, I bet this place was absolutely beautiful before the vandals came in. Oh, this is that area we walked to from up there. 
where the office furniture was thrown down. And this is looking like the kitchen. It's blocked by furniture. Might be able to get to it from the other side there. Wow. What a mess. Looks like somebody tried to emulate blood here. Same with here. Sorry, Lisa. Mysteries must be solved by only, but only by the night detective. Hmm. Okay. We have a dryer. There's that ladder again. Nice ceiling. Okay, here's that room again. Absolutely breathtaking. Aside from that, the mess. Okay, it looks like some sort of animal stall. Wait, what's this? Why, why must we hurt each other so much? Wolves that, oh my god, it stinks in here. Some more spider webs. Okay, there's a uh, heat lamp there. It almost looks like they had dogs here. So it's like a little bed for a dog. So it's, it smells like dogs in here. There's a magazine on them. That looks like one of those dog beds. There's a couple of dog collars. And a syringe. Probably for feeding the baby puppies, maybe. Another one there, and some surgical masks. An IV bag. Is this like an animal hospital? And one hell of a spider. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, that is one big black spider. Could that be a black widow? I'm not turning it over to find out either. Okay. But I am walking over. Just a little back room here. That really smells musty. Okay, I'm getting away from that. Dogs. I wonder if it was a kennel. Maybe they operated a kennel out of here. There seems to be a lot of dog pictures. Mastiff. The Northeast Mastiff Fanciers. Letter. I probably lived here and operated some sort of a a kennel, maybe. Or a dog club. Look at the glass. I mean those are pretty thick chunks. But that's the same patio, the balcony that I looked out earlier from the other end. Oh, 
Okay, let's see if we can find our way down to the main level because it looks like we entered through the upstairs. Very confusing place. It's uh, rubber gloves. Oh, okay. That would be it there. Oh, come on, focus. Okay, the bottom of the stairs now, and it is very dark and very musty in here, so I don't want to be in here for long, and it really stinks. It looks like another one of those stall areas. Look at the, oh my god, look at the spider webs. Okay, not much else to see in there. And another room here. This would be like a walkout basement, really. There you got the other fireplace that meets the one upstairs. It's like a cement floor. Uh, just a lot of supplies. Oh, there's one open window there. And that would go out to the um, main or the basement level balcony thing, patio. Okay, that's it. Okay, down at the shed here. Looks like they did have some horses here as well. You can see the bridles there. A lot of the dung and hay. So they must have um, had something to do with horses and dogs. And that's about it. Here's another look at the house. Beautiful. Thanks for watching.